Hi folks, Alexander Piana here with Century 21, wishing you guys a happy 2017. Want to start off the year here with a market update for January. A couple things we'd like to talk about today is uh, where consumer confidence is and where it's been uh, been talked about here at the end of December going into January. Uh, the supply of homes, where our interest rates are going to be going and where they're at now, and talk a little bit about uh, uh, home rents and the fact that they're going to be continue going up. So let's get into it really quick. So many of you might have noticed the interest rates have increased here in the last two months since our elections of Donald Trump. Uh, it's pretty typical that uh, you know con consumer confidence goes up when we have an election. You know, with the idea of prosperity moving forward with somebody new in the uh, in the office. Uh, sure enough, the University of Michigan is noticing in their indices. Uh, a jump from 93.8 to 98.2, and it's the highest level since 2004. Bloomberg News reports the National Federation of Independent Businesses Small Business Optim Optimism Index actually surged from 94.9 to 98.4. It's actually the, the highest and sharpest surge since 2009. All this happening right after since the election. So we definitely can know one is correlated to the other. In addition, we have Bloomberg also reporting the consumer confidence climbed in December to its highest level since August of 2001, as Americans were more upbeat uh, about the outlooks in, since the last 13 years. Uh, American households are expecting a Donald Trump administration to deliver. They're more upbeat about the prospects for the economy, labor market, and their incomes. So, I mean, all this is definitely showing signs of our, our uh, increased consumer confidence. Switching gears here for a bit, we're going to speak a little bit more about our current housing supply, our inventory of homes. As this graph shows, in December of this year, 2016, in comparison to last year in December, we're about 9% less uh, as far as our inventory is concerned than where we need to be. So definitely a bit of concern. We've got high demand, but we don't have enough uh, homes to supply all those buyers out there. Here's a great graph from Freddie Mac showing our 30-year fixed rates from the beginning of the year at 3.97 and finishing up at 4.2. You can see here in the last couple months of 2016 the spike up to the 4.2, you know, confirming the consumer confidence and the interest rates kind of being connected there. Here we got a couple quotes on where our forecast for interest rates are going to be be looking at. We've got a few people here. The second one down here, Zillow. Everyone knows Zillow is projecting 30-year uh, fixed mortgages to be right around 4.75 here by closer to the end of the year of 2017. Uh, also, we have First American uh, telling us a little bit closer to 5%, 4.5% as mentioned here by Realtor.com. So we're, we're just at 4% now, just a little over 4%. Interest rates are looking to go up, so definitely now is the time to look to purchase. Or if you're looking to sell, it's not a bad time as well and take advantage of those rates on the new purchase. Another way that was kind of broken down by Freddie Mac, and it's a great quote, it mentions here, despite the recent jump in the mortgage interest, in, interest rate excuse me, since the election, the annual average for the 30-year fixed rate is actually only 3.65 in 2016, the lowest annual average uh, recorded by Freddie Mac since 1971. So overall, from the beginning of January to December in 2016, it's been the lowest since 71. So what does all this really mean about the interest rates, about them potentially going up? Is Really what, what consumers need to know is that they shouldn't be worried too much about where interest rates are and the fact that they go up. Here's a great quote from Market uh, Watch: Mortgage rates would have to be a lot higher before they really cripple a buyer's ability to make it uh, affordable to purchase a home. Basically, they have to be between 7 to 10% in most metro areas to actually be a hindrance on actually owning a home versus renting a home. And that's where we go into right now, renting. If you're a renter, you know rents have been continue going up over the last couple of years. If you're a landlord, you're loving it. Rents are continue going up. And this is a great quote from Zillow. Uh, renters are paying $478 billion in 2016 just for rent. 3.8% increase since 2015. Let me give you guys another great example in regards to rents and the forecast of rents. Apartment buildings are going up left and right here in Orange County. That's a great example of all these large companies that are putting money into the fact that rents are going to continue going up. So what's the takeaway of this video? To understand that confidence is up for consumers, home supplies are down, and demand is definitely through the roof. Rates are heading up, but still affordable. 
I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. I know your time is very important. Please do reach out to us if you have any questions, comments, concerns in regards to the real estate market. We're always open for any questions or uh, comments. 714-745-0896 is my number. Alexander Piana, make it a great day. We'll talk to you here very soon. Bye-bye.